The Switch Lite is a beautiful little system. It is compact, it is ergonomic, it is vibrant, and I really love it. But one of the big issues, and possibly the biggest annoyance with picking this up, is how you're going to transfer your gaming life from your old Switch to your new Switch Lite. Now, if your plan is to give your Switch to a friend or relative or sell it somewhere, then you're in the clear because the process to transfer over your profile and your data and your games, it's pretty easy. Now, you can't just pop out your memory card and slot it in your Switch Lite. It will need to be reformatted and you'll have to re-download anything that is digital, but for the most part, it works nicely. Where this really hits a hiccup though is if you'd like to maintain two switches. Say you want to keep your Switch in case you ever do want to dock it and play on a TV or take those Joy-Con off for easy multiplayer, but you also want to have a Switch Lite because that will be your main system to take on the go, play in bed, or even when you're just by yourself. And it is possible with a whole bunch of caveats because Nintendo does have a primary non-primary system where you set a console as the primary system and it can do everything. Then you put your account on a non-primary system and as long as it has an internet connection and you're using that specific user, you can play your downloadable games. As someone who has almost everything digital at this point, it does become cumbersome though because what if one of the consoles isn't connected to the internet? What if someone is playing my original Switch and it ends up pausing my Switch Lite. That would be a real bummer, especially if the Switches were separated. Say I left one at home with my girlfriend and I took one on a travel trip. But we found a workaround that I think a lot of people are overlooking because it's actually quite simple. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this workaround and if you could see yourself using it or how you plan to balance multiple Switches or even just your transfer of your Switch life to the new Switch Lite. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Here we go. If you've mostly got a physical games collection, then you're a lot better off as a double Switch owner because you can just swap the games back and forth and as long as they have cloud saves, it should work like a charm without having to deal with the primary non-primary internet check. But if you're like me, and I assume some of you are, you may have a mostly digital collection or an entirely digital collection. Heck, I feel like I haven't bought a physical Switch game in a year or so, which is crazy, but it's also reality. I love having my games with me at all times. I've got that big 128 gig memory card. They're pretty cheap right now, $20 on Amazon, or you can price match it brick and mortar. And that's gonna store a lot of titles. And then you don't have to worry about taking and losing cartridges or acquiring a case that has slots or bringing one of those little cartridge holders with you wherever you go. If I'm traveling, I wanna take my entire library and I don't wanna worry about which games I got and if I lose them or if I brought the right one. So let's get to the workaround. It's actually right there in front of you. It's pretty simple. It doesn't require any fancy maneuvers or any manipulation of data or profiles. It's actually something Nintendo describes, but just not in the way that we're going to use it. And it involves deregistering your console. So the way that Nintendo establishes a primary console is when you first get a Switch and you set up your Nintendo account, you connect to the eShop, boom, primary console. And from then on, it is the primary console unless you deregister. Because within the Switch menus, there is no option to make a console a primary console. There's only an option to deregister a console as the primary console. And if you dig through Nintendo's website, you'll find that the rules for becoming a primary console is that if your Nintendo account does not currently have a primary console, the next system to connect to the eShop, the next Switch, to connect to the eShop becomes the primary. And it's a very simple menu option. You just go to the eShop and you can quickly deregister the console. There's no real harm in doing this. It can be done as many times as you'd like. No data is lost, nothing is affected, except that the console is no longer primary. So here's my workaround. When you are done playing a Switch, all you gotta do is go to the eShop and deregister. And then when you pick up your other Switch, connect to the eShop and you're good to go. Now this will require an initial internet connection to quickly check into the eShop and establish primary status, but it's a whole lot better than requiring an active internet connection to play your games. Because remember, with the normal primary non-primary process, when that second system loses internet connection, it pauses the game and you can't switch games until you're able to re-establish an internet connection. So with this method, as long as you remember to quickly check into the eShop before you take your Switch Lite out for the day, or before you travel with your OG Switch, or when you get home and are ready to play on your TV. You can continue to re-establish primary status for whichever Switch you're using and not have to deal with any of these annoying issues. 
I'm gonna show you how easy and quick this really is because it's literally five button presses and it honestly feels like less. So we just got done playing our game. Our session on this Switch is complete. All we gotta do is quickly go to the eShop, pick our profile, away we go. Now the reason I don't think this is being discussed very much is because I bet people worry that if you deregister your console too many times, it's gonna cause an issue. But I have done this process over and over to test it out for you and there have been zero issues. I mean, deregistering as a whole sounds kind of daunting, but it's really not. You pick your profile up at the top, you scroll all the way down, hit deregister. It's going to warn you if this console is deregistered, this console will require an active internet connection to play downloaded software or downloadable content purchased with this Nintendo account, which sounds worrisome, but do not worry. Nothing is lost, nothing is harmed. You deregister, you're done. You can put this switch away. Then all you have to do when you pick up your other switch or when you come back to use this one again is hit that eShop. You don't even have to plug in your password again because it remembers your account, it just doesn't remember the primary status. And then we're done. All we have to do is connect to the eShop. There's not even a button to press. If we go back to our profile picture up here, you'll notice that again, it already says deregister, meaning that this is the primary console. It's that simple. I know it's obvious, I don't think it's being discussed, and so I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think it's a nice way to ensure that you don't have to deal with the pesky always-on problem where the non-primary console requires a constant connection. There would still be an issue if you wanted to play simultaneously on the same account across two systems, but I feel like that's more of a game sharing issue at that point versus a, hey, I just want to switch between my OG Switch and my Switch Lite. And the method we're talking about here works perfectly for that. Of course, it'd be ideal if Nintendo just had a way for this to work seamlessly, but I understand why there are some restraints, because then you could just give your account out and have a ton of people playing the same game on the same account across an infinite number of systems, and that would really mess up their sales. But if you're a Nintendo Super fan like me, if you're one of those nostalgic crazies that just has to have everything and want to still use both versions of the Switch for their better features, then here you go. This is a pretty nice, easy workaround that's been right in front of us the whole time, but I don't feel is getting a whole lot of airplay. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hopefully this helps some of you out. It's the way that I'm going to be doing things. I just deregister when I'm done and access the eShop when I start and I'm good to go. It's going to be perfect for trips and travels. I don't have to worry about a constant online connection. I'm just ready to go with my Switch Lite. I get home, switch it back, and I'm good to play on the big screen without any of those non-primary problems. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the Switch Lite if you got one, and hope you're enjoying the coverage. If you don't, if you got any questions or anything else you want me to check out or look into, let me know in the comments down below. Have a fantastic day, everybody. I super appreciate your support. I love you a lot. And until next time, Switch Force, out.